Hi everyone, today we'll be going over the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves and how you can use this tool to help improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart, as well as many others, are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what is the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves? Well, it is simply put, based on this central line here, this mid dev, which you can see on the chart here. And what this is doing is using all of Bitcoin's price history, all the way from when it was first publicly traded up until present day and finding a line of best fit. So this line here, this mid deviation line is actually taking into account every single closing price and is finding a closest fit that best represents Bitcoin's price. So immediately, as we can see, this logarithmic growth curve follows Bitcoin's price all throughout history to a fairly high degree of accuracy. Now there is of course fairly big deviations to the upside and downside as Bitcoin becomes potentially overheated and undervalued. As Bitcoin is cyclical, this chart and these growth curves can help us identify potentially when are uh, good areas to accumulate more Bitcoin and potentially areas to be taking profit on Bitcoin. And because this chart is factoring in all of Bitcoin's price history, we can actually use this tool to potentially forecast into the future to see where Bitcoin may end up. So if we just take a look at the previous two cycles in Bitcoin, we can see here during the 2018 cycle that we actually consolidated a little bit around this midline. This is where some may consider Bitcoin's fair value to be and we actually surpass this and hit this upper deviation here so this upper deviation can be seen as the absolute highest fair price of bitcoin and throughout bitcoin's history it's actually been incredibly rare for us to get this close it's only happened on a few occasions and these have marked the exact price tops of bitcoin and the same is true to the downside once we get to this lower deviation curve here, this can be described as times when Bitcoin is potentially undervalued or at a discount. And especially on the rare occasions like the COVID 2020 crash and where we currently are, where we are sitting outside of the logarithmic growth curves. As well as this central line and these upper and lower deviations within the growth curves, we also have these blue lines, which are based on the Fibonacci multipliers. So these Fibonacci multipliers can be seen at the bottom here. And if you'd prefer to see them in isolation, you can just click on the chart here to actually add or remove certain growth curves based on the Fibonacci multiple. But you can see Bitcoin often looks to these lines as potential areas of interest for investors, potentially areas of support and resistance where we may see Bitcoin price action chopping in between these lines. But overall, we can see the Bitcoin logarithmic growth curves as a great way to potentially forecast where Bitcoin may be topping out, where it may be bottoming and where it may be areas of value or interest to investors. What we can also use this tool for is to potentially map out the adoption of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general. So even though the bands up here are accounting for much higher dollar amounts, the actual multiples, the actual percentage difference between the upper and lower deviations, for example, are quite substantially decreasing as time progresses. This is due just to the fact as Bitcoin grows as an asset, as its market cap increases, as its adoption rate increases, there's going to be less volatility in the market. There's going to be much fewer extreme price movements to the upside and downside, and it's slowly going to become in sync with many other global asset classes. So looking at the previous cycle we've just had in isolation, we can see we didn't actually reach this upper deviation level and we've now actually surpassed this lower deviation level. So this tool is really only just a rough guide. It's not something that's going to religiously call the tops and bottoms with a high degree of accuracy every single cycle. Due to the fact we are seeing extending cycles and diminishing returns, we could see Bitcoin slowly begin to just consolidate in the future around this midline, around this middle logarithmic growth curve, which right now currently sits at around $78,000, and will slowly increase over time until it flattens out. Another bonus that you get with the look into Bitcoin version of this chart is you have this oscillator down at the bottom. So sometimes it can be difficult to actually assess exactly where we are in relation to this central line and the upper and lower deviations. Whereas this oscillator just makes it very simple. This 0.5 line we have through the middle here is when Bitcoin's price lines up perfectly with this central line where some may consider it to be Bitcoin's 
fair value based on all of its historic price action. And as we get higher up, as we get overextended and touch this higher deviation line, we get oscillator values going towards one. And as we drop down to these lower levels here towards the lower deviation band, the oscillator decreases to around zero. So as things stand, we're currently sitting at a negative value as we're currently outside of the Bitcoin's logarithmic growth curves. This has only happened once before, which was the COVID 2020 crash. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. So if you'd have accumulated during the COVID 2020 crash, the strategic investor would have had outsized returns compared to the rest of the market. So we'll have to wait and see if that'll be the case this time. So just to summarize, the logarithmic growth curves take into account all of Bitcoin's price history to create a line of best fit which extends far into the future. The upper and lower deviations of the central logarithmic growth curve have historically signaled when Bitcoin is topping or bottoming. The additional lines are based on the Fibonacci sequence and provide moving levels of resistance or support just general areas of retail interest. The oscillator within this chart also measures deviations from the central logarithmic growth curve. Just to make your Bitcoin investing and analysis even simpler, just with a quick and easy look at the oscillator, you can see where we are in relation to the central logarithmic growth curve, which some may consider Bitcoin's fair value. What this tool also does is potentially maps out Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies adoption and general growth as an asset class. We may only get a few more cycles where Bitcoin is in its adoption and growth stage before the asset class matures and becomes similar to traditional asset classes we see today. If you like this video then please visit lookintobitcoin.com. Bitcoin data analytics can be very complicated but we want to try and help you understand the key principles so you can optimize your Bitcoin investing and analysis. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel to learn all about our other chats and gain even more market insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.